In this in this video I'm going to show how chess and maths are related to each other. So when you look at a chess board, do you see anything related to maths on it? Well, you can see squares, right? This is a square and it's a quadrilateral, a four-sided polygon. So then that means there is geometry in chess in some way or the other. Now when you put three squares together, what do we get? Imagine if I draw a line. I get a rectangle. So again that's another quadrilateral shape. In any way if I do it. And that I get a rectangle that way. Also there are rows, columns, diagonals on the board. So they are also related. Also in a square we know that parallel lines are there. The parallel line segments everywhere on each square. So that's another way to understand maths really. Also when we uh, play chess we do mathematical calculations in the background we have we improve our critical thinking and like when we uh, think about four to five moves ahead then we also have to do maths in, in the middle of it so our maths also improves by doing chess and another way that chess and maths are related is by piece value so these are the white pieces, there are 16 of them per color, 16 for black, 16 for white. There are 8 pawns, 2 rooks, 2 knights, and 2 bishops, and 1 king, 1 queen, etc. So like, uh, when you look at it, when we play, when we capture or exchange a piece or sacrifice a piece, we also look at the value of the points and then we calculate how much points we get if we trade this rook for example, the black's rook. So now, so the black, rook's value is five, knight's value is three, bishop's value is three, king's value is zero, queen's value is nine, bishop value three, knight value three, rook value five, first, and pawn value one. So for example, if I and the rook captures this, then he gets one point, and if we capture this, uh, automatically, mm, so. The rook, the rook is f uh, 5 points, but he got to capture a pawn, so 5 minus 1, it makes 4. So it's another way, like addition and subtraction is also a part of chess. Another way is through the notation. So when you look at a chessboard, uh, we see numbers. There's 1 to 8 and 8 to H. So that means that 8 on uh, each side. So like uh, when we want to show a move uh, in return way, we like um, do it so this is a pawn so when we say it moves here then we say pawn to e4 so we see e and then 4 now the knight so the knight if it moves here we say knight c3 and then the bishop so it's we wanted to go here we say bishop b5 so that's how notation and maths are also related to each other. Another way it's related is by time management. So we, so in each game we have certain amount of time. We have ultra bullet, hyper bullet, bullet, classical, rapid, blitz, etc. So and then we have increments. So if it, for example, we take a classical game, it's of thirty minutes. So. When we take 30 minutes, we can have 10 seconds increment. So after each move, the example that I played here, I press the timer, then I get 10 seconds extra to what my time was before, I, like while I was playing the move. So that's also how maths and chess are related. So that's how maths and chess are related. Thank you.